Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with our CK2 Let's Play episode as Maharaja Irachikachekara, the Ill Ruler. So here we are again. We're going to finish this war. Very soon, once we get this siege. Now our uh, war score is getting higher and higher. Send soldiers to kill. Try to capture it. Un wow, that is so bad. We lost gold, we lost prestige. That's basically everything we could lose but here we go we're gonna kill this stack no matter what did they actually just disband that stack that's what it looked like it's pretty funny okay so we're at 84 percent here 88 percent rather <laughs> and it keeps increasing and it's going to probably keep increasing for a good while uh, i guess that these guys are trying to go down and get rid of the revolt and that does make sense, right? Okay, so this guy, he is extremely strong. Which is why we have to get stronger ourselves every time. Okay, we he did see just there. That's really bad, but it's not bad enough. 98%. Well, 100%. So we've got this now. Yay, now this is ours. He is our vassal. And now we're going to send our, all our troops, well, I guess not all our troops, but a lot of them, we're going to send them down here. And we're going to siege. What? Why do we suddenly have so few troops? What? What? This is weird. Oh, this guy wants an alliance. Oh, of course I will accept your alliance. I don't know. Okay, we lost our spy master. Okay. Well, I guess we need another one. To scheme soon. I need a new commander. This guy needs to go and just get rid of uh, everything for me, though. Okay, so why is the war score going up so far? Oh, because we lost control of some things. But yeah, the levies we have right now are not so many. I thought we had, like... Hmm. Oh, yeah, we have all those unraised levies. Fine, I guess. Okay, he's actually gonna fight that guy there. Which, you know, is okay. I have failed her. Well, clearly I have. Okay. Well, there we go. We just beat them in a massive battle. So he's going to probably retreat to this land. Or he's just gonna die. Hello. Because, really, I'm I'm not fighting. With my massive martial skill, I'm not actually fighting. It didn't actually put me in the center, even though I have, like, martial skill of 25. What? That's crazy. Anyway, this is useless, and probably no leader here is actually better. Master flat terrain. Well, let's see. Focus on the flank. Nope. Well, flat terrain is a lot of planes over here. Well, kind of, I guess. Hmm. Oh, well, let's be flat terrain expert. Why not? Oh, what? Rush Trakuta Kingdom. Why are we at war with them? Oh, did your war over... Oh, it's, this doesn't really matter. It doesn't concern us, it seems. It's, it's another issue, I guess. Okay, this we're gonna disband. We have another daughter. What? Why do you have always just daughters? I mean, I guess we're going to continue being allied with these guys. With these guys, we're still allied. With these guys, are we allied with them? Um, no, we're not, but now we will. These guys, however, uh, do they have... To, I have another daughter, so I mean, I might as well. Because this guy is strong, he has 7k. Arrange betrothal. One of my daughters, why not? She's like 8, so definitely go ahead and do that. Okay, that works out. So now, he accepted. This, does this guy accept? Yep, so that's a uh, guy with... What? He declined. Why would he do such a thing? 
Did he actually? Yeah, they keep doing this, which is like weird. I don't understand why, but they do this. Really? Ah, uh, do this then. Wow, they all. So many of them lack focus. Just do. Whatever, just pick whatever. Okay, so f for my courtier here, it's going to be diplomatic. Yep. He accepted the suggestion, which means alliance proposal can happen, and he did accept it, which is awesome. So I guess he's joining in this war, because he's like, why not? I guess. Anyway, I need to get... I need to be done with this, because this isn't great. This guy should win here, hopefully. Yeah, he's gonna win. Didn't boost our war score for whatever reason. Oh, I guess... Probably because we brought those guys in later, but they can they can still fight the battles, but they don't actually improve the war score. I guess that's how it works. Oh wow, these guys all hate me, because I have raised their troops for so long without actually stopping. Yeah, keeping them raised for so long is not really healthy. Oh, did it? I was looking at the wrong revolt, maybe. I guess so. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to siege everything here fast to make sure that they don't actually hold anything. And I want to unraise everything and just have these guys fight the war for me. Because right now, Vassal Levy is raised too long, so they really hate my guts. Although I could push Kanara, because it's the Jor. This guy has not a single pact, which is funny. How do we not even have the option to declare war on him? What is this even? What? This does not make any sense. We can't actually declare war on him? Like, why not? This is weird. This is really weird. <laughs> anyway, we're soon done with this war, so... That's gonna be out of the way. Um, how about no? Are there any others? Rajputana is strong, but hmm, children. Oh, yeah, I have like a lot of strong allies here, as you can see. But once I die, well, I will no longer have all those allies. <laughs> That's for sure. I think. 100% sure. Okay, so this Chola Revolt here is being annoying. But it can't do anything because, look, my friends here are sieging them. My friends are actually doing something useful. Would you believe it? So what do I need right now is I need more town infrastructure. I need more majesty. Yeah, that's what I need. I need majesty for short rain years and monthly karma and prestige gain. Majesty is very nice. That is for sure. Um, yep. Technology is improving it. There's a battle here, which is... Hey, we got called into another strange war. Okay, so now this guy... If I banish him... Wait, wait if I banish him, does that mean that this guy inherits? That's what it means, right? I think so, anyway, doesn't it? I can ransom him for a lot of gold, but no. He's a traitor, so of course not. <laughs> but the laws are still uh, elective gavel kind. No primogenitor. Color me surprised. However, I can revoke one of his titles, which would be this. As you know, he's like, uh, he's done us ill. So yeah. I still have not, like, no son. I have like so many daughters, but not a single son. Like this is just, this is aggravating, really aggravating. So wait, do I have a strong person? I could name my nephew here. He's 17, he's strong, but he is a web weaver. So he's not good. Essentially my kinsman here, he's 27. He has 20 martial. He's broth dude. Could work, yeah. My half brother, yeah. That's that's not a bad idea. Uh, he has... Oh, no. That's not the guy I'm voting. <laughs> this is the guy I'm voting. But people are not voting for him. Which I guess is fine because people are voting for my nephew instead. Mm, he 
has good Diplo and he has like really bad Marshall and stuff. Go for Thrift. Thrift, Thrift, Thrift. Okay. Gaining lots of money and we still revoked this title here. As one would expect. Okay, we should investigate. Definitely investigate, yeah. Okay, so now that he is still here. That's funny. Well, I revoked his title, but... Throw in the oubliette. Yeah, definitely do that. Huh! Or I can ransom him. Yeah, I could ransom him. Why not? Right? Because <laughs> I want the money. I will take it. Mm, okay, he wants that small guy wants to do something. He likes me. He's he's at 52, but he's still trying to push this. You are funny. Oh, is this the Kurti Ramayan? Yeah. Why would I have this guy do something for me? Like he scheming against himself. Yeah, that's that's clearly gonna work, isn't it? So okay, we have nearly 500 karma. Uh, what I gain? Cruel? Hmm, send larger, okay. War elephants. No, get the next keep, probably. That would be necessary. Obligate the vassal. Um, yeah, that took a while. I was, like, really worried. Um, yeah, lose a bit of gold. Very good. Now, no factions. Yay. I have to wait until December, which is fine. The throat can marry. There we go. My daughter with this guy. The new Maharaja of Chowda. As for this guy here, oh, Maharaja of Lanka. We still have a pact, which sucks. But... Eh. Oh well. Fine. 14.9. It's December. I have to wait. Yeah, funny how I have to do this. Okay, send him out. I want this territory too, though. Like, this is the territory that I want. And then I finally have this uh, duchy all for myself. Oh, yeah. So I'll just get this keep, I guess. Then I'll wait for 500 karma, and I mean, that's that's basically it, isn't it? Yeah, and there we go. Tabbing in and out just causes this weird problem with the game. But I tab in and out a lot because I want to see the situation if the stream and stuff is working properly. Okay, so there's this funny... Well, not the stream, but the recording, because I'm using OBS to record and stuff. So I can see if it's actually recording and how long it's been for my recording. So stewardship wise, we have 14 stewardship. Eh, it's okay. But our wife just boosts us this, this up to 42. Meanwhile, the keep, oh, what? It's been slowed down. Well, the total bonus is gonna be massive. Like 30% is quite the total bonus thanks to the keep. Okay, would we actually gain this claim on... Hmm. Use it. Why not, you know? Because if I get it, well, this would be easy. So, I mean, I guess I'll go for it. And I'll just let my allies deal with it, right? I mean, that's how, that's how one does it, right? <laughs> just let my allies deal with it. Uh, or should we do that? Because... Hmm. Should I just trust my allies? Okay, they're moving with the 6k stack here, so... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can trust... Oh, I, I can... Can I trust them? After they do such things? Dropping my war score? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I can't trust them anymore. They do such things, which cannot be explained. Okay, I have a new heir. Hmm. 
Well, okay. That happened. So, that cannot be explained. <laughs> okay, that's not working. Tap out, tap back in. 5.7k. We don't have enough. I need more reinforcements. But for this, oh, I have raised my... I can't. I have to wait. It's just minus 3%, right? So it's not so bad. You know, if these guys come here, they can actually help out. Okay, military advances. This would be far too ahead of time, so I think we should probably just settle for something that's easier. How about shipbuilding? Yeah, more galleys. Why not, right? Still have another one, though. Hmm. Siege speed is not bad. But I wonder if this helps just us or, like, everything. I'm not sure. That is a good question, but I think I could probably just go for siege equipment. Then, yeah. I mean, I have all this military. So I guess I could just go for it. Yeah, this guy, why is he coming down right now and is not actually... Oh, he's gonna finish this war with the rebels first. I guess. I don't know. Okay, so now my daughter here is gonna go with stewardship. But look, what are the chances of this happening? Like, three, four, five daughters. It's like, come on, really. I'm glad I have elective gavel guy now. <laughs> There's still... My Kingsman is a pretender. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, there's a battle here. I should have raised my troops long ago. Now it might be too late. But, on the other hand, we get to do this. Yeah, those guys are dead. But I don't mind, they lost a lot. Like 6.1k left, so. Um, 11th of October. Oh no. This 33k stack. Goodbye. <laughs> they're arriving on the 9th here. The 7th. Oh no, they're gonna catch me. That small stack is gonna catch me. So I'm gonna be here. I need to go there. Yep. I was staying too close. But here, what's the... Oh, it's plain. Sadly, it's not mountains. So it's even worse. I mean, it's not even worse. You know what I mean. Okay, I have enough troops here, right? Oh, Rush, Dracuda is attacking with terrible morale in the center. They're going down. Oh, the battle is just so much in our favor right now. Focus on war elephants. Oh. Yeah, go with the war elephants. Yeah, I'm an elephant leader. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so that went precisely as I wanted it to go. That went really well. Okay. Well, I guess now we, I just get to get these guys unraised. And yeah, sieging this. We actually just turned it around really, really nicely, and we will have Kanara. Which makes it even better for us. I should have built another castle by now, but oh well. I guess. Mm, this kingdom is coming here to help us. If he actually comes here, if we have like all these people sieging, looks like they are actually coming to help me siege this. So I guess we're just gonna boost our. Oh, he's not continuing to siege. But well, I guess I can speed it up. Oh, there actually have some some troops here. Significant amount of them. There are some battles here. Oh, what? The alliance broke down. Oh, cause he died. Now the holder is this person, who I guess we can still ally with. This is fine. Then we can do this. Okay. 
Can we actually not fight these guys? Yeah, again! I don't understand. We can fight some troops, but we can't fight others. Like, what's the deal here? These are still Rush Dracuda's stacks. But he can't do anything here. Like, this is so weird. What's the explanation? <laughs> did he actually also die here? Wow, he did die. That is weird. Two-year-old ruler. Um, why not? Okay, we siege this. They attacked me. It's like the weirdest thing. Look, this other stack cannot join them, so we just essentially won. It's like the AI considers that that stack will help them, but it's not helping them. In some way. And it's not helping them, because they can't fight. Look at this morale here. Oh, what was actually built? Oh, we finished the keep, which means we can build even more troops. Wow, we have so many troops we can buy. We can build. That's awesome. However, we got pretty much all of this, so yeah. Look, he's following me, but he can't fight my stacks. That's the funny part. See, he's all the way over there, but he can't do anything. Is he gonna continue coming after me? Yeah. But he can't do anything, so I guess we just won this war. Yep, we did. Now I'm gonna send my stacks back. Tight the loss on succession. Nope. Um. Diligent is good. We still don't have a son, by the way. It's kind of weird. But now we have an another one under us. We have expanded our kingdom, and then there's Palava, where we have nearly. 500 we can actually start the subjugation This guy doesn't have many troops, so we could actually just subjugate <laughs> No, we can't because they're just like Hindu. Ah, oh well if there were not Hindu it would be easy. I Guess so I guess we just have to subjugate this guy would have to do wait what oh I thought this subjugation would was done like it was actually <coughs> gone, but yeah, if we subjugate this Boy, would that make us strong. We'd hold two kingdoms, though. And, I mean, we would have to hold two kingdoms, because... We're not an empire, so we have to hold both of the kingdoms. Which would be really weird. But I guess we would have to be done. Obligate the vassal, why not? But anyway, that's enough for now. So, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And I'll see you next time.